as we all know, we're coming into an eclipse. I'm sure you can feel it. I'm sure you're starting to recognize where certain things that you cannot tolerate anymore. Ways of being that you cannot continue with. Ways of giving your energy that you cannot sustain any longer. It's very interesting, this lighting that is happening here. Um... There's some very divine things that want to come forth to support you through this eclipse because you don't need to be afraid of the changes that are coming. Because I have this feeling that part of you is really afraid and has been afraid of what lays on the other side of the changes that are to take place. And while a lot of people want to put you into this place of being afraid of those changes, I want to help bring you back into the divine you. Divine you that has unshakable faith in like in source in your spirit i'm sorry the lighting that keeps happening in this video is just <laughs> it's just too divine um so there's a couple things that want to come through to support you at this time first thing is that decisions will be made through you for your highest expansion where certain changes that are taking place are going to naturally organically unfold for you now there is a part of your participation in this, but the decisions that need to be made will very organically be made through you. So basically your human self isn't the one who's making the decision. It's like your spirit, like the message, the message that I've received is that spirit has taken the wheel and that confirmation. It's like every time I talk about spirit, it's like blue light. <laughs> so spirit has taken the wheel and the message that keeps coming through is that you do not get to see the map or the GPS. Like, spirit's taking the wheel and your human self needs to surrender to the decision that your spirit has made. And you will know that it feels good for you when you surrender to the decisions that are being made. Because it is your spirit that is guiding you. It'll feel lighter. It may feel a bit scary. Because it's leading you into the unknown. And yeah, I feel this energy that you're coming into a new energy with no longer being afraid of the unknown. But instead, these shifts and this quantum leap necessarily that you're taking, that your spirit is taking and your human's just now like along for the ride, that experience is like initiating you of your spirit leading your life because it's been a long time of you like disregarding what your spirit wants so the big message here is that there's faded shifts that are coming through trust the unfolding and do not fight it so if a decision that's coming through that your spirit is making to let go of something to move from something to reorient and at first, it feels really good and exciting, but then there's also this part of like, oh shit, like, you don't fight it. Don't fight what your spirit is wanting at this time. So this energy is saying that the divine self is what is actually driving you now, and your desires are the path. And there's been this energy here of you not acknowledging your desire for a long time. And by not acknowledging your desire, it's put you, your desires, it's not just one, but that has kept you on other timelines that don't feel aligned for you. Confirmation right there. <laughs> it's like the universe is just like flesh in the light, just like, yes, bitch, you get it. And we say that respectfully. I say that respectfully. Um, but you need to, you have this desire to leap and to choose yourself and you're being called forth to actually do it. And it's not going to be something that you have to try so hard to choose. Like the clarity that's coming through for you in this eclipse is realizing where you have been carrying other people's pain. Because we don't realize it, but when we make agreements to allow other people into our lives, especially in regards of relationships, we are in a sense giving our heart to someone. And saying, be gentle with this. And so you can end up carrying someone else's heart. And I, I received this clarity today um, that like we attract people with similar pain in their heart. Because like similar pain to the pain that we carry in ours. Because 
there's already like an energetic resonance there with the capacity to carry one's pain. So it's like when you have when you have pain in your heart, that's reflected in your aura. And so other people feel that energy from you. And this is all happening like on a subconscious thing. You're not actually conscious that this is happening. But you end up choosing somebody. You come into a dynamic with them. They've had similar pain. And you're here to grow and evolve and assist each other in navigating through your pain together. Which is why you both have the capacity to carry each other's pain. But the energy here is that it's been imbalanced for a long time. Like you've been carrying other people's pain. And of course other people have loved you carrying their pain because you are so much stronger than you realize. Like you've been doing so much inner work over the last few years and you've been carrying a lot of this pain thinking it's yours. And like trying to delve deeper and be like, I gotta fix this pain within me. And you're gonna find that as you set that pain down, you give certain people their hearts back and you retrieve your heart back. Choosing you is retrieving your heart back. You'll find that you feel lighter because you've actually done so much inner work. You've actually done so much inner work. So your heart actually doesn't feel as heavy. And you've actually been carrying the heaviness of other people's hearts in your body thinking that you need to alchemize it, thinking that you need to transmute it. And this energy is saying, you know, I have over here, you know, because I, I had to write these things down because there were so many things that were coming in. But realizing that you've been carrying other people's pain and that it's time to set down the pain and heaviness that isn't yours to carry. And when you do, you're going to feel so much lighter. Like this energy is inviting you to choose yourself. And if there's resistance there, I encourage you to look at what is this resistance inviting me into? What's it inviting me to look at? Oh, well, I'm afraid of this happening. I'm afraid that if I walk away from this thing, I won't be supported. And you're actually going to find that when you choose truth, when you choose what your spirit wants, there's even more support that's able to come in to hold you through that experience. And you'll feel relieved. You'll feel lighter. You'll feel so much lighter. And in choosing yourself, that's also awakening an unshakable faith. An unshakable faith in an energy that is beyond you, yet also quantumly entangled with you. Because you're quantumly entangled with all of existence. Which is why when you shift, when you move first, all of your reality changes. Which is where this energy is really pulling you into a space of being an active participant. We exist in a participatory universe. So you have to participate in the shifts and changes that are taking place. And that's where, you know, you have to move first. Yeah, you have to move first in this energy. And so moving first is choosing yourself. There's a deeper party that wants to choose yourself. You've just probably thought for a long time that you weren't worthy of it or there would be, you know, certain bad things would happen if you chose yourself. But you're going to find that choosing yourself, you're going to feel so much relief. You know, but you also have here that, you know, not only is this inviting you and awakening you into this unshakable faith in your spirit and where your spirit is guiding you, even if you don't know where that is, even if your circumstances are not giving you the evidence that it's the right direction, you know by how it feels. Choosing yourself despite the circumstances will quantum leap your life. And you might notice in that energy that you feel conflicting feelings after those decisions. So we've got here that there is some karmic energy, karmic dynamics that are ending because you've now realized your worth. You realize with clarity some things that you you've tried to push off and you've tried to ignore but you literally can't ignore it anymore and you're clear now with what it is you deserve and the message that was coming through is the damage had been the damage that had been done has been done so let it be done and I feel like that message is forever was meant to receive it so if that doesn't feel resonant with you that's okay but that was for someone that needed to hear that so the energy here of choosing yourself, retrieving your heart from people who don't treat it with divine care, because how someone treats their heart, how someone treats themselves, is how they are going to treat you. So if there's someone in your life who's very critical of themselves, you might find that person's also very critical of you. 
And so this energy is calling you to like retrieve your heart from people who have not given it the proper care. And that's choosing you. Choosing to love yourself. And this is where you can still love people and care about people, but also recognize that some of their behavior has caused, has been destructive and caused damage in your life and that you cannot continue that. You know, so this is where this energy of feeling conflicting feelings comes in. That like you might be feeling conflicting feelings in this energy. Questioning if you made the right decision. But there's a deeper part of you, of your spirit, that can hold those conflicting emotions simultaneously. Can still love and care about someone. But also know and understand that like, okay, this is not aligned. And choose themselves. Where you can love someone else and still be like, well, I have to choose me. I have to choose to love me. And that's a big energy here is choosing to love yourself. Choosing to love yourself through your challenges. Choosing to love yourself to choose yourself. Here we also have the conflicting feelings here of grieving what you're releasing. And letting yourself have that process of grieving that like, okay, yes, there is sadness with what you're releasing. But also feeling a relief of what you have released as well. And that's how you know that like it was the right decision because you feel that relief that's like oh my spirit feels lighter because there is a cost to carrying someone else's pain there's a cost on your spirit to carrying someone else's pain and that has its own karmic repercussions and you'll get to a point where you're just you're so exhausted that you're like this isn't mine to carry anymore <sighs> so yeah, there's some very potent shifts that are taking place here. This is why this is a quick message that's wanting to come through. Um, that whatever you're choosing, which is really whatever's being chosen through you, because deep down you know what you want to choose, but you haven't been choosing it. You've been afraid to choose it. You've been afraid of what you'll lose by choosing that. But the energy here, like this is a very faded time that we're in, that you're going to be at peace with the decision that is chosen by your spirit. Because the deeper part of you knows what you're choosing is in alignment with yourself. And the deepest message that I would like to share with you here today is that when it comes to choosing you, that whatever it is, you're cho like when you choose you, whatever you are walking away from, whatever you are releasing, it's not a loss. It's a liberation. And sometimes we might be so focused on what we think we're losing that we're not recognizing what we're actually liberating ourselves from. And so my final message that has come through throughout all of this energy has been that a new life is brewing in the cauldron of dreams for you. And that might mean something different for each person. But you're being guided to make that quantum leap. And now is your time. And it might feel hard and it might feel scary. But like in the quantum, it's already done. In the quantum, your higher self is already celebrating you for this pivotal shift that you have made in your life. Because this is a pivotal, pivotal shift that you have just made. So I feel like as you're listening to all this, a lot of this might already just be confirmation for what you've already been going through. If you know, like I'm sure just listening to this, you know where you're being guided to choose yourself and how that is related to your own life and your own situation. And so you're being guided to trust the unfolding. And just know that I'm right there with you in what's unfolding. Today I had a very pivotal life shift and a decision that was made through me, by my spirit. And it encouraged me to share this message. Because I'm right there with you in these changes, in these quantum leaps that are coming forth for all of us. Here to remind you that you are the point of power in your reality, so therefore you move first. When you move first, your entire reality shifts. Like right now, you might be feeling afraid to make the decisions that you know you've needed to make. 
but it's at the point now where the universe is like you don't even like logically need to think of how am I going to make this decision like it's really going to organically happen through you there's conversations that want to be had through you right now and so when those conversations come up don't fight them don't fight the organic flow of the conversation and where it leads because it is leading to the unknown and part of you might be afraid of that because you might have the negativity bias that's afraid of like, oh my God, it's going to be worse than, you know, the situation you're in. And it's like, no, the better it gets, the better it gets, the better it gets today, tomorrow, and the next. So it's time to trust that because that's just like a little quantum code that's like now just like quantum key integrated into your system. The better it gets, the better it gets, the better it gets. Today, tomorrow, and the next. There is a new quantum life that is more aligned with your spirit, more aligned with who it is you want to be, who it is your soul is feeling guided to be. And that new life is waiting for you. It's brewing in the cauldron of dreams. But this energy is saying it's not just a dream anymore. Like it's all a dream. But that dream is now coming alive within your reality. And you get to choose it. You're worthy of choosing it. And your human might freak out and be like, well, I don't know where this is going to lead me. You don't need to know. Your spirit has caught you this time. Your spirit's had you every time. Every time your spirit has, has had your back. And spirit is... Spirit has taken the wheel. And you're not allowed to have GPS access. You're not allowed to see the map of where you're going. But this energy is inviting you to get fucking excited. That where you're going is exactly where you're meant to. Where you're going is where the universe is taking you. The universe is always going to take you to better. And so it's time to enter a new timeline. The timeline that you've been daydreaming about, thinking about, but just feeling a little too scared to go for it. Feeling like you haven't been worthy of it. Being too afraid of what will I lose if I make this choice? But what if you have nothing to lose and everything to gain? And what if it's not a loss? It's actually a liberation into the life that is dreaming you. So I love you. Take a deep breath. Whatever unfolds in this un whatever unfolds in this eclipse, just know it's the universe that's driving now. So you you gotta just be here for the ride. Trust the unfolding. Because <sighs> your desires are the path. And it's time that you choose them. And it's the divine time that your spirit is choosing them. It's time to set aside, like, to t tell our human self, like, okay, human self, like, my spirit knows what's best for me. My spirit is not going to choose anything that's not what's aligned for me. Your spirit doesn't move that way. It's only your human that can move that way. Because your human has, like, all that programming. Programming, conditioning, distortion limited beliefs, your spirit is moving from, like, your divine encoding. Like, your spirit is moving from the divine encoding. And so, she knows. They know. They know where you're meant to go. They know where you want to be. They know the life that you're dreaming of. And what if the life that you've been dreaming of has been dreaming of you, too? So 
And may this eclipse bring forth some potent expansion for you. But may you rest in the trust that Source has got you. May you rest in the cauldron of dreams, knowing that a new life has been brewed up for you. And it's just waiting to give you a new taste of how good it can get. I love you. Be gentle with yourself during this eclipse. Be gentle with yourself. It's going to get better.